Welcome to You're Not the Boss of Me. If you are determined to break glass ceilings and build it your way, this show is for you. I'm your host, Beth Graves, and I am obsessed with helping you to not just dream it, but make the plan, connect the dots, and create what you crave. Are you ready? Let's get started. Welcome back to episode number 48. This episode is going to be all about putting your product into your prospect's hands for profit, meaning you can sample with success or even share a little bit of your product so that your potential customer can experience it before they decide to buy it. There's a lot of mixed reviews on whether to sample or not sample. I'm going to give you my opinion on it and to show you how this has helped me to grow a seven-figure business. Are you ready? Let's get started. Hello, hello, my friends, and today we talk about sampling. Please don't tune out if you're thinking, I don't sample product. This episode isn't for me because I am going to talk with you about how to walk the newest customer, the newest person that puts up their hand and says, yes, I want to take a look at what you do. I am going to walk you through the steps that will help you and also help your team to have massive success. So why is it that one person can put a sample pack, maybe a sample of skincare or a sample of their vitamin experience into the hands of a prospect, a friend, and magically they love it, they order. And another person might hand out 25, 26, and they'll say, oh my gosh, I just don't have any success with samples. I'm not doing it. So First of all, the energy and intention and communication is the most important thing when you are putting your product, and many times you've purchased it, into the hands of someone that's taking a look. The first time that I ever received a sample or a trial experience, it was this little gold bag of skincare products. And a new friend of mine stopped in and said, well, I've This is, I'm going to go back because I wanted to show you how not to do it. And I was new in town and a woman had reached out and said, I would love to just stop by your house. Maybe we could have a cup of coffee. And I was really, really excited because we were going to chat and meet and I wanted a cool new friend. So she showed up at my house and she had with her a gold bag and in the gold bag were skincare products. And she said hello. She handed it to me and said, these are the skincare products. She told me the brand and she said, I want you to use it for seven days. And if you don't love it, you can give it back. And that was that. So I walked away from that experience, not really knowing what was in the bag. I never really asked for what was in the bag and I felt a little bit tricked. And so that was my first experience years and years and years ago with the idea of sampling, especially in the network marketing world. And then I started to think about Costco. So pre-COVID, remember going to Costco, I tried chicken apple sausage. I'm trying to think of the brand. Oh, it's so good. You probably know what I'm talking about. But I was strolling around with my cart. I never would have picked up the chicken apple sausage, little dogs. And I loved, loved it. So that sample was, hey, I'm going to go ahead and pick up a pack. Well, if you think about how the Costco sample experience goes. You walk up, they offer it to you. And as you're having it, normally you get some information on it. And then the offer is made. Oh, hey, it's over here. And so you get to decide based on your experience. And also based on, I think it comes down to that energy of that man or woman that is handing out the sample. If you make a decision to say yes or no, and their job is to get you to say yes. Your job when you are using your product for samples is to open the door to a conversation and yes, ultimately have someone say, yes, I want to place an order or yes. Wow. This looks like a great business. So a lot of people have said, I just don't sample. You know what? You can't sample on Amazon. I just don't sample. Well, so here's what I know is that three of the top, top earners that I have brought into my business started because of a sample. And it wasn't because I was afraid to go ahead and ask for the sale. It was the opening of the conversation. So if you think about what these three business partners have done for my business because of that sample, that $20 investment 
has paid for itself over and over again. So the right way to sample is to set the intention that you are opening the door to a conversation. So when I either offer or I'm wanting to reach out and it feels a little cold, I might say, hey, Amy, I noticed that you're playing a lot of tennis. I do as well. Something that's really, really helped me to keep my mobility and to have better recovery is this nutritional supplement that I absolutely love. Actually, I'm partnered with a company. I'd love to put a sample in your hands and see what it does for you. I would not have the conversation be that long. It would be a give and take, a back and forth. Hey, how's it going? And so that was a rambling conversation, but you get the point. I'm opening with the sample pack instead of going straight for the sale. Many times I'll put them in my stories. I'll share a testimonial and say, who wants it? I call ours mini experiences. And so people will put up their hand. Now, the biggest piece of when you're putting product into the hands of someone that is your potential customer, and this is even if they purchase a full month of your product, is what will that experience be from beginning to end? So We, this month, I have been testing a sampling blitz with a few of the women on my team and men, and we have been working in a way that will allow us to actually help our team to walk through the steps. And some of them have said, wow, no wonder I haven't had sampling success. That's a lot. So I'm going to walk you through what we're doing, and I'm going to give you some tips along the way. So number one, we decided that we would have what we call a sampling blitz because we know if we get more product into people's hands, we are going to grow because they're going to fall in love with the product. So I decided that my investment would be that, and side note, as a leader, you have a business and you will have business expenses that comes when you pay your taxes or are going to ask you for your expenses. So investing back in your business is a huge, huge way to grow. Investing wisely, not just throwing money out the door. So I decided this month we would do a sampling blitz and I would be the one that would pay for those samples for this group. So First of all, we got everybody on a Zoom and we said, here's what we're doing is we want to have as many people as possible who are qualified, who actually are interested in learning more and have a health and wellness goal, because you know, I have a health and wellness product. We're not just throwing it out the window like it's Mardi Gras. So the first thing that we did was we talked about some good pull posts for social media and said, if we were going to share that we're going to offer four days of this experience. How would we post? What would we say? How would we have curiosity? And are there people that have been on the fence that you could reach out and say, hey, now's the time. So we looked at where all the lists were, not just going cold onto social media, but what about all those people that had been kind of not, you know, in and out, maybe when I get paid, oh, I'm not sure. This is the time to reach back out. So this is how it would go is we decided that we would open the door and say, you offer the sample, however you do that, the reach out, the store, if you're using your Instagram stories, but we really wanted to have them have conversations with people that already kind of putting up their hand. They think they might want to take a look. They've been a little skeptical or something around it hadn't happened yet. And I always say to trust your intuition around the energy of someone that you're going to spend some time with and even invest in. So once someone says, yes, I would love to have a sample pack or sure, I'm open. We said to the promoters, what is, and that's what we call our team members promoters. You might call them stylists or distributors or business associates, but we call ours promoters. And we said, you need to find out, first of all, give them a free customer account. We always put an account in even before the order, growing that list, letting them have access, taking a look, and then having a conversation to say, here is what will happen and explain how the sample would arrive and what would be your health and wellness goals. If you, you, know, if you had a magic wand for your health, what would you want to have happen? 
So they were getting information about, I'm either, you know, our product helps with energy, our product helps some people will lose weight, mental clarity, relief from discomfort. So we asked them their magic wand. The next step is, so the conversation is we've already told them what to expect. I always say get the agreement. So now when you receive this, let's get started right away. The next thing that we talked about was before I would send that sample for that promoter, they had to go and put their prospect on a three-way chat. So we're teaching our business partners, our promoters, to use that three-way chat. And many of them said, well, I'm already ready. I know the health and wellness goals, but the three-way chat is a way to validate. So we even use this as a training tool to say, okay, so at this point, here is how you would add to a three-way chat. You would say, hey, I'm going to connect you with my friend, Sarah. She is so great at explaining what you can expect when you get started. Or you could say, I would love for you to hear her story. And also she could give you some tips about how to have the best possible experience. So you think of a way that that person is going to provide value. Come over to Messenger and say, hey, Sarah, I want to introduce you to my friend, Tammy. She's excited about getting her sample. She's looking for X, Y, and Z. And then Sarah would share, oh, I'm excited. Do you currently take supplements? Many times, and this is a little training on three-way chats, is many times the person that's put on the three-way chat goes right into their own personal story and kind of just blabs and blabs and blabs. So I want you to think of a three-way chat as conversational. And so I would start by saying, oh, hey, Tammy, it's so great to meet you. How do you know Sarah? Or have you ever had it taken any supplements? Because I want them to come back and start interacting and feeling as though I, because I do have interest in that person. So I'll start with a question and then I'll say, well, what Sarah shared with me is that you're looking for a good night's sleep or whatever the case is. And so I will give an experience that validates that our product will help with that. I might ask another question about how long this issue has been going on. And then I will ask permission, ask permission to share my story. You know, would you like me to share my story? I think I could give you an idea about what to expect when yours arrives in the mail. So that three-way chat is pretty conversational and it's also informational with what to expect and I'm sharing my story. So it has validation. I then will say, let me tell you again what you can expect. So with our sampling blitz, what we decided to do was do a pop-up Facebook group. We called it our Thrive Camp and our pop-up Facebook group. And we called it the magic is in the mail. And we said, you're going to go into, you're going to camp and inside of here, you guys know I love camp and inside of here, you're going to see some stories, hear more about the product. And we even have challenges for those to earn gift cards, like have an Amazon gift card challenge for anybody that makes a TikTok video or a video or a post about their magic being in the mail. And so there's, we have a great video of Cora in there. She's doing a TikTok and like she opens the mailbox and it all flies out at her. It's super fun. What are we doing there? We are walking through the entire funnel of here's how you get started with the product. Here's how you can use the three-way chat. Here's what happens when you build community. And inside of the community, we're providing value and content and also getting the engagement. So how does this help? the promoter who brought the sampler in is that we as leaders can say, okay, we want to make sure that we let them know what's going on, that you're tagging, that you're commenting, that you're engaging so that the group stays alive. So, you know, I look for a profit leak, right? Where somebody might have something missing in their business. And so they're seeing, oh, I have to start this way. I move to the three-way chat. Now, There might not always be a group, but perhaps you have customer groups and here's how you follow up. And then we say, make sure you're having a conversation every single day that's sharing a little bit more, that's staying in touch. I also say, if you have a sampler, set them to see first. So you're engaging with their social media, with what they're putting out there for life, right? So we've been having so much fun with this that we're inside of the group. And as of now, I think the first people will receive their sample packs tomorrow. So we will then again talk about 
that $100 Amazon gift card giveaway that if they do a video or a post and we're not asking them to be spammy, we're showing them how to do a fun curiosity story or post because we have a referral program. And so we're helping our promoters to also see how to help someone get their product for free or how to ask for referrals. So when you think about Will you put product into somebody's hands? The question is, are you willing to do the steps that it takes so the people that are getting started have a better chance of saying yes, of knowing what to do when they get it, getting started right away? And the most important part about sampling, the most important part is the relationship that's built and the communication and for that potential to become a part of a community in some way, shape, or form, whether it's in the three-way validation or going into a group. So if you followed me on this, I love to say, what is your sampling funnel? Now, many times when you have offered the sample and you are in the three-way chat, I've had people that I have said, you probably won't notice day one or two, but you may but this is what you can expect to see on day 15, 16, 17. And many times they'll say, well, it sounds like I just need to go ahead. I've had two people close themselves. It sounds like I need to just go ahead and get started with 30 days instead of waiting for the sample. And I'll say that. I'll say, so there's a little bit of gap time here. You'll wait for your sample and you are going to want to have 30 days. So I will, in that three-way chat, make a suggestion of if you want to go ahead and just place your order because it sounds like we need to like really help you with X, Y, and Z. So it's the way to open a conversation. It's a way to create trust, commitment. It's a way to help your newest prospect come inside of the community. And we have so many in there now that are like, you guys have so much fun because we're also helping our team to see that engagement in the community and being a part of it is a huge part of your customers wanting to be a part of what it is that you're doing. Everybody loves a community, right? So if you are interested in getting that community set up and seeing how that all works, what I would encourage you to do is come over to Camp Elevate. We have a community in Camp Elevate. It's not a customer group or anything, but next week when you're listening to this, we are going to talk about how you we do a weekly training And the weekly training is coming week, so you're listening to this Monday. And if you're not listening live, I'll let you know how you can search a group for something. We'll be all about how to create community around your product and how to create community around sharing the business opportunity. And it's way more these days than ad tag message, put somebody in a group, and the next thing you know, they're all in. There is way more than just that. It is one piece of how you will communicate and share and let them see community. And really, I find that some of the large, large groups that don't have personalization and don't have a lot of communication, it's just a lot of posts, can sometimes be overwhelming. So I'll talk in the training in Camp Elevate, and I'll actually be doing it on my business page as well. So even if you're not in Camp Elevate, you'll be able to see it. One of the things that I talk a lot about is there are times like this when we're doing, this is the magic is in the mail. This is like our summer sample session. And we did a pop-up group. Now, when they finish, we'll ask them to go into the larger customer group where we have a lot of fun. But this is a way for us to build a smaller, tight-knit community. You might also do that in a launch event. And I want to close with this is to say that We've all been invited to groups where it's like all of a sudden you're like, oh, so-and-so invited you to the such and such chef event. And there's no message that says what's going on. I got invited to one tonight and had this friend of mine reached out and said, hey, do you want to take a look at this? I put this together. I'm working with a friend, blah, blah, blah. Even having a conversation, I would be able to say, oh my gosh, I still have my product from my last party like that in the boxes in my closet. So it's not for me at this time, but my sister is looking for X, Y, and Z. So don't just throw someone in a group, let them know. And this is always, always the key, whether it's a new business partner, whether it's a new customer, always let them know what to expect next. Here's what you can expect next. 
and honor your word if you say that's what to expect. So this episode was quick. It's easy. It's about sampling with success. What I'd encourage you to do is just grab your whiteboard, a big piece of paper, and draw out your success path, your sampler, or of your new customer. What happens first? How does that conversation start? How do you pull that person toward you? What's next? Do you give them a like a referral link? Is there a way that you register them on your website? Then what's the conversation? Do you pick up the phone? Do you do it in Messenger? How do you get to that three-way validation and chat? And then what do you do on the way till the product arrives? Now, the last thing that we're asking our, it's not the last thing we hope, because we hope that the person that is starting with the product will be a part of our community, is that we say, once they're on day one or day two, feel free to come back to that initial three-way chat and check in with that leader to say, hey, Tammy's on day three. Here's what she's noticing. It gives you the chance to have that leader help you with the closing of the sale or validating again what is going on. So this episode, we covered how to sample with success, how to set up your success path, how to use three-way chats and validation, and also how to use a Facebook group community to validate, to let them have a glimpse of what goes on in your world. So I hope this was helpful for you today. I encourage you, even if you don't have single serve packets that you can sample, one of my friends sent me, she just like bought little bottles on Amazon and she sent me a tiny bit of cleaner for my grout. And I was able to clean a little four inch section. It was fabulous. And now I am a loyal customer. The same thing happened way long ago, Elizabeth. She gave me a little packet of this micro scrub and I have been a loyal customer from that little packet of micro scrub for over a decade. So I want you to think about how that relationship can be built. So that is what I have for you today. And I want to stop the episode. I want to end the episode with sharing with you. I say that I always give you a little millionaire action plan tip. And we'll end this episode with that millionaire action plan tip is I'm leaving for vacation actually tomorrow morning. I'm recording this. It's already tomorrow because of course I'm thinking I don't have a microphone at the cottage. I better get this thing recorded tonight. And I'm going to be resetting and revisiting my vision, my affirmations, rewriting my affirmations for my health, wealth, family, both of my businesses, the MAP membership and my network marketing business. I'm also just going to check in with my energy. I'm going to do a lot of journaling with keep, stop, start. And I'm going to give myself time to be unplugged. It is a dopamine fix for me to scroll that messenger and be the one to answer. But what's so exciting for me about a seven-day detox, I'll post in my stories. I've got content planned. But I've got backup. I've got backup dancers. It allows our leaders to step forward and to step in. Because if your organization cannot run without you, that means that you need to have better systems in place. Okay. So I'm going to read to you something that I love to bring with me words that are in my bullet journal as I get started with the work around where will I be in the next three months and revisiting those affirmations. We'll talk about how to really use those affirmations so that they're not just, I wrote it, now nothing's happening. And I love this. And it says, you love who you're becoming, that next version of yourself, the one who has all you desire, the one who knows you are worthy of it all. It's already inside of you. And it's so beautiful to see this realization grow stronger each day as you become who you are meant to be. And that is from the I Am Journal, one of my favorite journals. She is so great. Her name is Lauren. I've been chatting with her on Instagram. I want to get her on the show, but every morning I get a beautiful little mantra like that into my inbox. You can find her on Instagram at the at I am journal. Let her know that I sent you your way and say, Hey, I'd love to hear you on the podcast. So with that, I hope you have a fabulous day and week. I'll see you next Monday. Be sure to join us over in Camp Elevate. Go on over to my business page, Beth Holden Graves. That is where you're going to see the live training that I talked about this week about building communities. And as always, be you bravely. 
Thanks so much for hanging out with me today on You're Not the Boss of Me. I'm hoping that you found one thing that you will do today that will allow you to move forward to that big audacious goal. And I have a favor to ask of you, and that is leaving me a five-star review over in iTunes. Every single week, I read your reviews. I love hearing what you have to say, and it allows me to bring you more to get more people to interview that are doing the thing, breaking the glass ceilings, creating what they crave, and helping you with your game plan. So leave me a five-star review, and when you do, I enter you to win the You're Not the Boss of Me swag. So make sure you leave it, and we'll reach out to you if you're the winner. Thanks so much for hanging with me today, and we'll chat with you soon.